that's literally how I feel. I could just lie on the floor, well maybe not on the floor, but that's definitely how I'm feeling right now. Although, in the ASOS bag is, do you know how I said weeks ago I got a pair of Adidas and they're like pumps because they're not leather or anything, they're just canvas and they've got a thick like platform, it's only about an inch and a half maybe. And I got my size, and as I keep saying, my feet have bloody grown. It does this every now and then, like it's every couple of years it does this. It's normally when I put a bit of weight on. And also it's probably not a help that I've been inside, my feet have obviously swollen. So every time I get stuff in my size that would normally fit me really well and have room for movement. Everything's been too tight and I keep having to send stuff back that I really want. So I decided to go for half a size and of course the half a size has been out of stock. For the last three weeks, three and a half weeks, I know I need to send the other ones back on Monday or Tuesday to get them back in time to get my refund. If you send it back after 28 days, you get a credit on your account, but I'd rather have the money back. So, not yesterday, but the day before, late at night, I was in my bathroom taking my makeup off and I come back to my phone and it was a notification saying 14 minutes earlier, they'd gone back in stock and I was like well they're not going to be in stock because every time I go on when I get a notification and it's funny because I've missed every notification and I've seen it like an hour and two later so when I've gone on it's gone so I went on not expecting them to be in stock and they're in stock and I was like oh my god so I've got half a size up not even open the bag because I just feel like they're not going to fit and also I'm worried that if I keep them and obviously I lose the weight and do you know what I'm not even the heaviest I get this is like and even like when I'm talking about weight I have like a weight that I'm at most of the time and I can either drop a few kilograms or go up a few kilograms and I've gone up a few like maybe two or three kilograms but that's, that's not the highest weight I've ever been I've been much higher but my feet size has never gone up but every now and then, it's typically when my weight goes up and I've not been going out much, my feet do get slightly bigger and it's bloody weird. It, it really happens, but when it happens, everything that I've got is too tight. So I've missed out on some really nice trainers because I've got the Reebok ones and I wanted to keep them the most out of all the ones that I've got and I had to send them back. There was a pair that I got that I never showed you that they arrived on the Sunday and I sent them back on the Tuesday. And they were absolutely gorgeous, but they were too tight and the half a size weren't available. I think they only did them in full sizes, but these are in half sizes. But obviously I'm worried that I'm going to get them, like them, they're going to fit now, but what else about in two months' time? They're going to be quite big because it's funny. Um, any kind of shoes, I'm typically a six or a five and a half mainly a six because I have wide feet so but I do get in the odd five and a half but if I ever get a six and a half it's like they're massive on me like it's like they've gone up two sizes or something so these are potentially not going to fit but my proper size a six don't fit like there's about a millimetre around the front and my toes are super squashed and in summer, your feet swell a little bit anyway in hot weather. So I couldn't keep them for that reason. But obviously if I keep these, if they fit me now, they might not fit me in a few months. So there is that. But I really like them. Although I was looking for a pair of trainers that were leather. These are canvas. And yeah, I couldn't really wear them all year round. So we'll have to get some trainers. It's just annoying me. Anyway... I meant to be back in, I've been sat here for about half an hour. I meant to rack downstairs, take it up to the next floor, maybe do that, and then have my bath. I did a to-do list last night because I've not got much done this week or last week or the week before. So I did a to-do list and I put on the most important things and it's to do from today till probably the end of Tuesday. I've given myself quite a lot to do but I've I've wrote down the most important things, the things that really could be doing it, that could, 
the things that I could really do with doing in the next couple of weeks. So hopefully because I've got that list, even though it's one of those list books, I don't really pick it up that often. It's normally piled under loads of stuff and I always forget I've got it. So I never ever complete a list. Even when I was super productive and I had it in sight all the time, I don't think I've ever fully completed a list. I might have missed one or two. But this one's a page full and it's one of those really long books. So I just feel like if I've got it written down, at least I know. So I can't think, oh, I don't know what to do because I've got a massive list. So I do need to have a bath today because I didn't get to have one the other day because my dad came home super early and it's bath day. So I'm going to vac and then bring it up the next set of stairs. Don't necessarily have to vac there today but at least it'd be up there and then i'm going to clean the bath and then i'm going to have a bath might perk me up a bit i'm exhausted and i shouldn't be because i had a decent amount of sleep So I've just opened my front door to find these, which I didn't expect to find on my front doorstep. This was behind the bin, and I've got no shoes on because I want what's in here on there. Don't know when this came, but this came at some point. Hiding my dress. Hiding my dress is the best, best water I've ever had a good water. And there's a little scruffy bubber here. Hello. You're my princess. Yeah, I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, YouTube. I'm a gorgeous Cleo. So I don't know how much you can see. Don't know if you can actually see them. But the pink slippers. Because my slippers that I've been wearing are definitely by this the used by date. Hopefully these will fit. They're my size, but they might be too narrow. They had some other ones that I liked. Because these have only got like a thin sole. I don't know how much you can actually see. Um, I think they were £10. Oh, God. Do you know what? Trainers in size six don't fit. These were five to six. Perfect fit. Oh god, I like these. I'd like to get a second pair. She's like, where's mine? This is what I'm wearing. I did put on my black slim fit jogging bottoms that I love. That's got the crop sweatshirt and I've got two of them. Too tight. Put them on and I basically couldn't breathe. Well, I could breathe, but I... I was so uncomfortable. Then I had to sit down to peel them off because I'd just moisturised my legs to some kind of like, I don't know. I need to get a second pair of these bad boys. How cute are they? And yes, I'm not tanned. So I'm sorry about these super pale feet. 
but how gorgeous are they? I wish there was a thicker sole, but we like them, don't we? Yeah, I do, I like them. Do you want a pair? You'd need two pairs, really. So she's been having these. Oh, you only last one. It was £9 for six. So she does like them, though. I think there was two green, or three green, two red and a white one. You got one left. Yeah, I like them a lot. You see how quickly she just sat down? She must like these. You take her eight. It's a big ass toothbrush. Happy girl now. Um, you can get different shapes and stuff from Amazon and different sizes. Oh god, it's blurry. If I would have known the large was as large as they are, I would have definitely got medium. Um, Nine pounds is a lot for a week. Not even a week's worth really. I need a drink. I need some painkillers. It is raining. Nice. Yum, yum, yum. You like that, don't you? Yeah, I do. Is that nice? Yeah. Can't run Sunny, can you? I wish you could. I some of, part of me wishes she could talk, but there's a part of me that's glad she can't. Because I think we all know that she'd be a little mouthy little bugger, I reckon. There's something else here. I've got a film, except for the bottom one. The bottom one's not going to go on here. Oh, it's ten past two in the morning and my dad came home from being in the pub all day 20 minutes ago. I'm not even joking, he's paralytic, promised me he would go out for two hours. When it was eight o'clock and he'd still not got home, I texted him, I was like, I thought he was only going out for a few hours. I think you should ring your taxi now. No reply. So then a little bit later on. I sent another message saying, you promised you'd all go out for a couple of hours. Yet again, you've lied to me because he keeps like, he keeps telling lies. I keep catching him out on lies all the time. It's just lie after lie after lie. And I don't understand why he feels the need to constantly lie. So it's just like, you know, you lied. You're putting me in danger by being out all this time, interacting with people. It's not fair on me what you're doing. You should go and sleep in the office. What you're doing is wrong. It's not fair. And then I got a message back saying he would be on very soon. Um, and I think about half eleven, not home. Text him. I was like, you're really out of order with what you're doing. You're putting me in danger. You're meant to be being careful. And I just think it's really selfish what you're doing. And I wouldn't do this. No reply. And about, I don't know, maybe half past one-ish. I just said, like, you're out of order and I'm sick of being lied to. I said, all you do is lie to me. I don't understand why you constantly lie. There's no need to go out all day. And I said, I shouldn't have really believed you when you told me it was going to be a couple of hours. Because drinking has always been your priority. 
you I've seen you drunk more times than I've seen you sober you get drunk every night and there's just no need for this behavior and I said don't you think you should grow up a little bit and then I said like how old old he was because he is quite old my dad had me later in life and I just think his behavior is really shocking the fact that he's out and about he's probably lost his hand sanitizer because he, he loses everything when he's drunk and now he's he said he come in he tried to sneak in I don't know why he was trying to sneak in because he knows I'm downstairs and then he didn't say anything I went I know you're there and he went I'm going to bed and I went we'll go to bed then but please wash your hands so he stormed upstairs and like I could hear him like banging into the wall because he can't walk straight because he's so drunk went in town for about six seconds came out went in his living room opened a can of beer and now he's sat there eating crisps so what is going to happen is he's going to fall asleep and he's going to start snoring so loud it sounds like there's a pneumatic drill up there then he'll start shouting out it's actually a miracle he's not put the tv on full blast yet and then i won't be able to wake him up then i'll get really stressed out because he's making so much noise and I'm like a floor down, but I'll tell you what, it's like he's in the same room and like he's got a speaker on, really full blast. And then he'll carry it on for up to two hours. Then he'll wake up and start drinking again. That's what normally happens. Then I'm stressed out, then I'm anxious. And when I tell him what he's done the next day, he's like, well, you know, it's me, so you shouldn't get anxious. I said, well, of course I want to get anxious. You're making loads of noise. I can't hear anything other than the noise you're making. So... Anything could happen, but I can't hear anything. And you're there snoring away because you're drunk. He doesn't care. He does not care. And he tells me I'm not allowed to tell anyone. I've had that all my life that I'm not allowed to tell anyone anything. Because it's no one else's business. I'm sick of having to keep everything a secret. Because ever since I was younger, everyone's always told me I couldn't tell anyone what was going on. He's probably listening to me talking. I'm not allowed to talk to anyone. He's just nasty to me the whole time. And because I've been sticking up for myself a little bit more, he doesn't like it. I'm just sick of it. It's like, you know, going up for 20 past 2 in the morning and he's drunk, eating crisps. It's 4.30 in the morning, well, almost, and I've not gone to sleep yet, I was just watching a vlog, um, I don't know how long I've been in my room, half two, three o'clock, actually I think it was more like half three, between three and half past, um, I've got a video going up at either six or seven a.m., I can't remember which, which I scheduled about an hour ago. I edited it about 1, one thirty in the morning. It's not very long. The thing that I got arrived on Saturday, I filmed the video a couple of hours later and I wanted to get it up Sunday. So it's quite a quick turnaround for me. But it's very appropriate to get it up as quickly as possible. And I didn't know what I was going to put up today anyway. I've still got lots of videos to edit on here. I had an issue with the vlog. Um, I edited it. Friday going into Saturday. Uploaded it and then when I went to put it up. It had been blocked because I'd put about 4 minutes 10 of Jumping Jack Flash in it. Um, I kept... I only had the sound on in a couple of places for about 10 seconds each time but I had a massive copyright breach on it and I didn't think it was going to do it because obviously I didn't have the sound on it so I tried to edit the video again well luckily I'd kept it I had to change and take out a big chunk of the, the reason why it got banned and then I had to upload it and stuff I had to resave it then upload it so I don't think it went live until 10 half past 10 
but at least it's up. So I think what I'm going to do today is I've got some stuff to do around the house, but I'm also going to maybe start editing part one of my next bi-weekly um, or of the weekly depending on how much footage I've got I mean I don't think it'd be weekly but I want to get it down to weekly I'm also going to edit two or three Sunday Tuesday videos because I need to get the footage off my phone basically nice and quiet until I did that. There we are. There you go. Just go upstairs, took my clothes off, washed my hands because I feel like they needed washing even though I probably washed them about half an hour ago. Um, turned the light off, picked my phone up. There you go. Um, did my returns, put everything else together um, because I know what I'm going to return. There's one thing I need to try on, but everything else is getting returned. That was on the bed. So it's five in the morning now, and I've not been to sleep. I'm really, really tired now, but I'm cold. <sighs> Normally I have my fan on, but I'm cold. I bet if I go and put the heating on, I'll be too hot. But I don't want to keep waking up because I'm cold. <laughs> 